Welcome to Policy Matters, the podcast that delves deep into the world of government decisions and their far-reaching consequences. Join us as we navigate the intricate web of policies, dissecting their impact on society, economy, and individual lives. Get ready to uncover the hidden truths, challenge the status quo, and gain a deeper understanding of the world we live in. In an era dominated by exploration and expansion, ideas that justified imperialism played a pivotal role in shaping the world we know today. From economic motives to cultural superiority, nations embarked on imperialistic ventures fueled by a range of justifications. Discover the fascinating history behind these ideas and their profound impact on societies across the globe. In this detailed and thought-provoking podcast episode, we delve deep into the ideologies that supported and justified imperialism, uncover the intricate web of reasoning that allowed powerful nations to assert their dominance over territories and peoples. Journey through the annals of history as we examine the economic, social, and political theories that provided the framework for imperialism's growth and justification. Join our expert guest speakers, renowned historians and scholars, as they navigate the complexities surrounding imperialism. Get a comprehensive understanding of the ideas that underpinned expansionist philosophies and the consequences they unleashed. Whether you're a history enthusiast or simply curious about the global impact of imperialism, This podcast episode will stimulate your intellect and provide fresh insights into a controversial chapter of world history. Tune in to our podcast, where we uncover the ideas that justified imperialism, shedding light on an often misunderstood and debated topic. The historical context of imperialism imperialism, as a concept, has roots that can be traced back to ancient civilizations such as the Roman Empire and the Mongol Empire. However, It was during the 19th and early 20th centuries that imperialism reached its peak. This period, known as the Age of Imperialism, was characterized by intense competition among European powers for colonies and resources around the world. The Industrial Revolution, which brought about significant advancements in technology and transportation, played a crucial role in fueling imperialistic ambitions. The need for raw materials and new markets drove nations to seek control over distant lands. Additionally, the rise of nationalism and the desire for global dominance further intensified the race for colonies. Economic justifications for imperialism, one of the primary motivations behind imperialism, was economic gain. European powers saw colonies as lucrative sources of raw materials such as rubber, timber, and precious metals. These resources were vital for fueling the industrial growth of the imperial powers. Moreover, colonies provided captive markets for finished goods, ensuring a steady flow of profits back to the motherland. Furthermore, the establishment of trade routes and the control of strategic ports allowed imperial powers to monopolize trade and secure their economic interests. The exploitation of cheap labor in colonies, also contributed to the economic prosperity of the imperial powers. These economic justifications provided a strong foundation for the expansionist policies of the time. The spread of Christianity and religious justifications for imperialism religion played a significant role in justifying imperialism, particularly during the era of European colonization. The spread of Christianity was seen as a moral duty by many European powers who believed they had a divine mandate to convert and civilize indigenous peoples. Missionaries were sent to colonies to evangelize, often accompanied by colonial administrators and military forces. The idea of the white man's burden emerged as a religious justification for imperialism. This notion, popularized by British poet Rudyard Kipling, suggested that it was the duty of the white race to educate and uplift the lesser races. The spread of Christianity, according to this perspective, was seen as a means to bring enlightenment and salvation to the colonized peoples. Cultural justifications for imperialism cultural superiority was another idea that fueled imperialism. European powers considered their own cultures to be more advanced and sophisticated than those of the colonized peoples. This belief in cultural superiority manifested in various ways, including the imposition of European customs, languages, and legal systems on indigenous populations. The concept of civilizing mission was used to justify cultural imperialism. According to this notion, European powers believed that they had a duty to bring civilization and progress to 
backward societies. This often involved eradicating local customs, traditions and languages in favor of European norms. Social Darwinism and scientific justifications for imperialism The rise of social Darwinism in the late 19th century provided a scientific justification for imperialism. Social Darwinists applied Charles Darwin's theory of natural selection to human societies, arguing that the dominant races and nations were naturally superior to others. They believed that the conquest and colonization of weaker nations was part of the natural order of progress. Supporters of social Darwinism used this theory to justify the exploitation and subjugation of indigenous peoples. They believed that the survival of the fittest applied to nations as well, and that the strong had the right to dominate the weak. This scientific veneer gave imperialistic ventures a sense of legitimacy and inevitability. Strategic and geopolitical justifications for imperialism Strategic and geopolitical considerations also played a significant role in justifying imperialism. Control over strategic locations, such as ports, canals and trade routes, was crucial for maintaining global dominance. European powers sought to secure their interests by establishing colonies in key locations around the world. The competition for colonies was driven by the desire to gain a military advantage and secure access to vital resources. The establishment of naval bases and coaling stations allowed imperial powers to project their military power and protect their trade routes. Geopolitical considerations, such as balancing power and preventing rivals from gaining an advantage, further fueled the race for colonies. Case studies of ideas that justified imperialism to gain a more comprehensive understanding of the ideas that justified imperialism, let's examine some notable case studies. Anglo-Saxonism and the justification for British imperialism Anglo-Saxonism was a belief in the inherent superiority of the English-speaking peoples, particularly the British. This ideology provided the basis for British imperialism, as the British Empire sought to spread its influence across the globe. The idea of spreading British culture, language and institutions was seen as a mission to civilize and uplift the colonized peoples. The white man's burden and the justification for American imperialism, the concept of the white man's burden, emerged during the period of American imperialism in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. It encapsulated the belief that Americans had a duty to bring civilization and progress to less developed nations. This idea justified American interventions in countries such as the Philippines and Cuba under the guise of promoting democracy and freedom. The civilizing mission and the justification for French imperialism, the French concept of the civilizing mission, was central to their imperialistic endeavors. French imperialists believed it was their duty to bring French culture, language and values to their colonies. This idea justified French interventions in regions such as North Africa and Southeast Asia, where France sought to assimilate the local populations into French society. The scramble for Africa and the justification for European imperialism in Africa, the scramble for Africa, which took place in the late 19th century, saw European powers carve up the African continent for their own economic and strategic interests. European imperialists justified their actions by portraying Africans as savages in need of European guidance and control. The exploitation of Africa's resources and the establishment of colonial administrations were justified under the guise of bringing progress and development to the continent. Critiques and counterarguments against the ideas that justified imperialism while the ideas that justified imperialism were prevalent during the age of imperialism, they were not without critics. Many individuals and groups challenged the moral, ethical and economic justifications put forth by imperial powers. Anti-imperialist movements emerged, advocating for the rights of colonized peoples and questioning the legitimacy of imperialistic ventures. Critics argued that imperialism was driven by greed, racism, and a desire for power rather than noble ideals. They highlighted the exploitation and suffering inflicted upon indigenous populations, as well as the detrimental impact on local economies and cultures. These critiques challenged the dominant narrative of imperialism and paved the way for decolonization movements in the 20th century. The legacy of imperialism and its impact on the modern world the legacy of imperialism continues to shape the modern world in profound ways. The borders and boundaries established during the era of colonization have had lasting effects 
often leading to ethnic tensions and conflicts. The economic disparities between former colonies and imperial powers persist, contributing to global inequality. Moreover, the cultural and linguistic legacies of imperialism are still evident today. Many countries continue to grapple with the influence and dominance of Western culture, languages and norms. The scars of colonization run deep, and the consequences of imperialism continue to be felt across the globe. Conclusion The ideas that justified imperialism played a significant role in shaping the world we live in today. Economic, religious, cultural, scientific and geopolitical justifications provided the framework for imperialistic ventures, allowing powerful nations to assert their dominance over territories and peoples. However, these ideas were not without criticism and the legacy of imperialism continues to be debated and examined. As we uncover the ideas that justified imperialism in this podcast episode, we shed light on an often misunderstood and debated chapter of world history. By exploring the historical context, economic justifications, religious and cultural beliefs, and geopolitical considerations, we gain a deeper understanding of the complexities surrounding imperialism. Join us as we navigate through the annals of history, examining the ideas that shaped the world and their lasting impact on the modern era. And that's a wrap for today's episode of Policy Matters. We hope you enjoyed this enlightening journey into the realm of government decisions and their ripple effects. Remember, policies shape our world and it's essential to stay informed and engaged. Join us next time as we continue to unravel the complexities of policy making and shed light on the impact it has on our lives. Until then, stay curious, stay informed, and remember that policy matters.